there are people today that say, well, Oliver, at what point should I stop buying Bitcoin? I'm like, you don't get it. First of all, you're not buying Bitcoin. You're changing the weak for the strong. So when is it smart to stop changing the weak for the strong? Never. And you do it until everyone wakes up and no one wants to give you the strong for the weak that you have. But as long as there's someone out there who's willing to take something that's guaranteed to go down in exchange for something that's guaranteed mathematically to go up, you make that trade. You can't be wrong with this, people. Not if you step back. Not if you look at it from four-year points. The best way now is to look at Bitcoin as a savings technology. You give four years to your college and you start off negative. You go into debt. You put your kids in university for four years and they come out negative. They don't even come out break even. They come out negative, mired in debt that they may never be able to pay off forever in their entire lives. And you think that's a good investment. You won't give Bitcoin four years who's mathematically shown you that you can change, you will change your life if you give it four years. And it has never failed. But you'll give your money to another man who says, I'll educate your kids and I'll make sure that they're negative by a hundred, two hundred, three hundred thousand dollars, and then send them on their way. Just maybe, maybe another man will give them a job instead of maybe considering put that in Bitcoin and let Bitcoin start them off four years from now at a plus. And give that to them and say, all right, now just figure out what you want to do with your life. This is yours. Bitcoin's going to change all of that, I'm telling you. You're going to see it unfold in front of your eyes. Why tears law? Good money drives out the weak. It has happened throughout history every single time.